Welcome to another video. We're back playing Mermails, and this time, the two waifus, the two waifus that at once were at odds, are now back together. We got Crusadia Arborea and Abyss Teus in the same deck. Gonna see how those two cards play together. Our opponent is playing Lyralusk. We're gonna ask their Celestine. This card was gonna search for a Lyralusk spell trap. Not sure what the best point to interact with this deck is, but you know, sometimes you just gotta gotta do what you, do what you do. Just hit them with dash. Uh, opponent is still special summoning. They're gonna make a bunch of Lyralusks. Let's just speed things up here. Opponent gonna summon more Lyralusks. Gonna get two XZ monsters on the field. Special summon. Oh, get more materials. There we go. Let's remove more materials. Add more Lyralusks to hand. And now he's gonna double XZ into number F0, Utopic Draco Future. And that's gonna rank up XZ into no number F0, Utopic Draco Future Part 2. The Part 2 inning. Uh, basically, this monster is able to negate once per turn. Detach material, negate the activation of a monster effect. And if that monster that it negates is on the field, they gain control of it. It also cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So this is a pretty, pretty sizable boss monster. Going to be pretty hard to deal with. Opponent also has two mystery cards in hand. They did add one Lyra Lust card to hand. So we know that one. The other two are mysteries. So uh, we got Deep Sea Minstrel. So let's take a peek at our opponent's hand here. Usually the right thing to do. Going to try and bait out this Utopic Negate and see if we can play Fusion Destiny. Great draw. Always get happy to see the Fusion Destiny. Opponent <laughs> lets us see their hand. No no qualms about it. They could have activated the Maxi in response, but they, they're just like, you know what? My hand's so good. I don't even care. You take my card. Uh, you can't stop. You can't stop me. He's got Nibiru. He's got Maxi. So either we take the Nibiru or we take the Maxi. Now, if we take the Nibiru, we could call by the grave if he activates Maxi. But you know what? Where's the fun in that? Where is the fun in that? We, we need to save this Call by the Grave to deal with his little Lyra Lusks. And you know what? I think the easiest way for us to, us to get rid of this Utopic Draco Future is for our opponent to feel that he has to Nibiru. And if he activates Nibiru, he's gonna tribute all monsters on the field, which means this Draco Future gets tributed. So let's see if we can bait our opponent into using that Nibiru. We're gonna get a search with Dragoons. Opponent not negating, choosing not to negate. Now, we could have searched D.Va here, but if he negates D.Va with the Draco Future, we're done for. That's it. He steals it. We can't link it off. That's game over. So, I summon Prince. Prince does not activate on summon, so nothing to negate yet. And his effect to activate uh, basically just sends cards to the graveyard to search. So, uh, not a huge deal if he steals the Prince now. So, chooses he chooses not to negate the Prince. So, we're getting more searches. Dragoon's going to add. Add this Mullen Glacia. Now, Mullen Glacia is going to threaten to make him discard that Nibiru. So, we're going to see if we can force him. Force him to get rid of that Nibiru. But we still got to get rid of this Negate first. With this Negate on field, we're in trouble. So, let's see if we can get him to Negate. Going to summon the Crusader Arbora from hand. Go into the Hulk Fibrax. Come on, opponent. Uh, opponent takes the bait. He's going to Negate the Hulk of Fibrax. Going to steal our Hulk of Fibrax away from us. But Hulk of Firebrax did one last thing before his demise. He put exactly five water monsters in our graveyard. And you know what that means. That means it's time for the Mullen Glacia. Rip two cards. And opponent. Opponent is so scared. They're going to lose their Nibiru. They don't know what else we can do. He's like, I got to stop this. He activates his Nibiru. And I don't know why he does this. It's not going to do anything. Salamangre Elmiraj protects from opponent's destruction effects. Uh, but he's about to tribute everything with Nibiru. So, giving us the Nibiru, giving us a chunky Nibiru token, and now his Utopic Draco Future is gone. It's gone. And we made him discard that last card. And we got a Fusion Destiny. An opponent is done. Doesn't want to see it. Now, our token was so big that he may not have been able to, to do anything, even if, even if he got his turn back, even if we didn't have the DPE. So, we'll never know. Opponent. Uh, is done. All right, let's go to the deck list and show you what I've been doing. 
All right, here is Splashzone version 14. We made a couple little changes here. We took two copies of Crusadia Arborea out and we put in three copies of Abyss Teus uh, and we put it back in the Abyss Pike. So, uh, you know, it's more fun. We got our Toad back in the sideboard. I know everyone was missing Toad. We also have some extra spice in the spot sideboard. We got Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign. We got Tatsunoko. We'll see if we get a chance to use these. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. I'll pan through the whole thing at the end of the video if you want to see the whole thing. Uh, if you like this sort of content, please let me know in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel. All right, let's show a couple more games. All right, no interaction for our opponent's turn. Opponent is playing True Draco's triple back row set. Now, this could be a problem. We don't know what these back rows are, but I'm expecting a Solemn Judgment. I'm expecting Skill Drains. We draw Lapis Dragon, super awkward. You draw him and his effect will let him special summon itself. Opponent gonna chain the Ignis Heat when we activate a monster effect. He gets to search for a true Draco spell. And he's activating it. It's the Disciples. This will let him target cards in his graveyard, shuffle them in a deck, draw a card. Also lets him tribute summon true Draco monsters. So that's gonna provide him recurring value if we leave that on the field. An opponent activating a Vanity's Emptiness in response to the Lapis Dragon entering the battlefield. Neither player can special summon monsters if a card sent from the deck or graveyard to your graveyard destroy this card. So we cannot activate Teus. Teus cannot be special summoned. Our opponent doesn't have cards in hand, so we can't activate the Deep Sea Minstrel to make the Heavy Infantry pop this. So that leaves us with only one option. We got to use Abyss Pike. Abyss Pike Normal Summon discard the Heavy Infantry. Now, we don't have to pop opponent. Not even not even going to rest here. Activating Fogblade. Fogblade going to negate the effect of Abyss Pike to search for level 3. That's okay. We didn't need that. But the one fun thing about Vanities is you don't need to pop the Vanities. You just need to pop anything. So we're going to pop this uh, Disciples. Disciples going to pop. Vanities going to pop itself. Thanks to its effect. One of their cards was sent to the graveyard. Now let's link off into the Hulk of Fibrax. And opponent has a Solemn. Solemn going to negate the summon. All right, well, we're going to set up for next turn. Abyss Teus in defense mode has 2400 defense. And next turn we'll be able to normal summon Minstrel and make a level 10 Synchro. Opponent draws a card and concedes. Opponent not able to get through the Chonky Teus. We were right. He was a good waifu. We should never have let him out of the deck. Teus was there for us this whole time. All right, let's go on to the next game. All right, we got the two waifus together. We got our Borea and a, and a Teus. Let's start with the Teus here. Doing our Dragoons line. Search, gonna search for a Pike and a Prince, but opponent's got Effect Failure. Effect Failure gonna negate our Teus. With Teus negated, we're gonna instead search for a Deep Sea Diva. That is our Fall Black plan. Deep Sea Diva back to hand. Got a normal summon. Special summon the Prince. Prince gonna activate. Send Dragoons, add Dragoons. Except, just kidding, adding a heavy. And getting the Moon Glacier now. The reason we're doing this is we want exactly five in Graveyard. And if we searched and discarded because we had to, uh, we got messed up a little bit with our Teus, we not able to get exactly five in Graveyard. So we're going a little different route here. We're just going to make broth. And we're going to special summon Moon Glacier. Make him discard two more cards. It's a tri Revolt. Revolt. And a Fusion Destiny. Well, those were those were pretty good hits. We still got our one negate with Baron. Opponent normal summoning Kit. Kit link summon into an Almirage. Now Kit's effect in graveyard will, when it's sent to the graveyard, let him send a monster to the graveyard. Uh, send a Tri Brigade card from your deck to the graveyard. And the Tri Brigade that he sends to the graveyard will let him add a Tri Brigade to hand, which will enable special summoning and more, more shenanigans. So I want to keep materials out of his graveyard. Uh, we already make him got rid of this Fusion Destiny, so so let's negate the kit effect. Keep those materials out of his graveyard, out of his hand. Hopefully he doesn't have any other way to extend. He has used his normal summon. An opponent has another Fusion Destiny. They drew the other one. They just ripped it. This is what we call Heart of the Cards. Opponent gonna pop. Pop in the Baron. Baron is gone. That is not ideal. All right, back to our turn. 
Lapis Dragon awkwardly in our hand here. We draw Despot. Not great news. Let's normal summon the Prince. Opponent not willing to take any chances here. He's popping the Prince right away. But he leaves himself very exposed. Let's activate one for one. Get Prince on field. Prince gonna activate. He's got one card left. We don't know what it is. Could be anything. Dragoon's gonna activate. Add a Megalo. Megalo gonna use our second waifu. Both waifus. Both waifus critical to this game here. Pop in the face up all Mirage, tributing the Prince. We get a special summon. Another Mermail from the graveyard. Another Lanyard from the graveyard. Excuse me. And we get to attack. We get to attack. Opponent thinks he's safe. He thinks he's safe. All of our monsters have attacked, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know the Megalo can attack twice. Got him. All right, what a perfect way to end our waifu, our waifu, you know, reunion video. I don't know what, how, to, how the best to describe this. Our waifus have made up. They're no longer fighting. You let me know down in the comments. All right, hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.